reinforced cement concrete design or RCC design is one of the important and difficult subject of civil engineering. Steel design of RCC members can be done manually or by means of software. Manual RCC design consists of a lot of equation and calculations. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can design slab, beam, stairs, columns or any other reinforced cement concrete member by thumb rule without using any detailed design calculation and softwares. Remember that, that this is just a thumb rule and for proper design of RCC member you have to follow certain codes like ACI 318 or British Standard or Indian Standard codes. But this video will give you an idea about how quickly you can design or calculate the quantity of steel required for slab, beam or column. For achieving steel values for RCC member after detailed design calculation and software will be nearly same to these thumb rule value. But remember that for proper design a certain method like ACI, British Standard, Indian Standard, Euro codes or certain software must be followed. In this video first I have explained the quantity of steel required for different members like slab, beam, columns etc. And then I have also solved a practical problem by this method. But before starting I have a request that please like this video. Let's start today's discussion. For members like slabs, tears and floors, the quantity or the amount of steel required is 70 kg per meter cube. For beams, the required quantity of steel is 110 kg per meter cube. For columns, the required value of steel is 150 kg per meter cube. And for foundation, or structure on the ground, the required value for steel quantity is 130 kg per meter cube. Now, using these values, you can design any RCC structural member like beam, column, or foundation. This method can be used only in emergency cases or when you have short time for design process. Now, let's do a practical problem by this method that how can we determine the quantity of steel required for different construction work like column, beam, foundation and slab. For this purpose let's select a beam of length L, width B and height or thickness H. To solve this problem let's take length 6 meter, height of the beam 60 centimeter in meter which is equal to 0.6 meter and breadth of the beam is 45 centimeter. Now the first thing you need to do is just calculate the volume of the structure. Here in this case the structure is beam and the volume of the beam will be equal to its length multiplied by width multiplied by its height. You can see that volume of the beam is equal to 6 meter which is its length multiplied by 0.45 meter which is its width or breadth and multiplied by 0.6 meter which is its thickness or height. So after a simple calculation we will get volume of the beam is equal to 1.62 meter cube. For beams we have discussed that the steel quantity required is 110 kilogram per meter cube. Now to determine the quantity of steel, just multiply this value with the volume you have calculated. So let's do this. Steel required for this beam will be 162 multiplied by 110. After simple calculation, we will get 178.2 kilogram. So you can see that the steel required for this beam is 178.2 kg, which we have calculated by using a simple thumb rule without using any comprehensive calculations or design method or using any software. You can determine the amount of steel required for any structure by using this method. It was all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video pool. For more updated videos about 
Civil Engineering, please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos.